FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently got same thing as the 1 p.m. update. All the U.S. indices trading higher with the exception of the semiconductor index. So you got the Dow up 208, S&P 19, NASDAQ 82, Russell 34, Trainees 152. Uh, let's go try to figure out what all that means by taking a look at our indice charts out here. Now, why aren't they showing up? Oh, this is weird. Well, let's see what happens when I click on this screen. It should... There we go. So just a confirm confirmation inside the den. You're seeing the white background chart. You should be. So I'll, I'll talk about them. So inside the Dow, I'll just expand this chart out here. What do we have? We have nothing more than sideways movement. That's what we have over the last. I don't have a topping pattern or anything in place as we speak right now. Just a sideways move. So the Dow not providing us with a ton of information. We look at the S&P 500. It still has a um, erodes momentum indicator top, but if uh, price were to take out and close above 44.29, uh, really 44.30, that negates that pattern. The NDX 100 is trying to negate its erodes momentum indicator top, and it closes above 15.142. Does it? You're at 15.166. Russell 2000 also just a sideways move out here at this stage of the game. The semis. So in the case of the semis, they're the only index trading lower. What kind of signals do we have out here? Well, we've got a potential wave number seven top. Bar number seven, that's going to complete today. The semis pull back, and they could pull back. You're looking at price getting back to about the 3361 level. That would be its area of support. So a potential top, which should take price back to that oscillator and change line. Um, the transports, got a nice road momentum indicator bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. Just struggling to trade above the oscillator on change line out there. The spot politics below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is uh, bullish. The XAU has got a nice road momentum indicator bottom pattern. Uh, and a price may be pulling back to test support, and that's its oscillator and change line at 138. So that's what I see when we take a look at the uh, charts out here. I can pull over the New York Stock Exchange. That's on a different screen. What do we have here? We have a TD9 count top. We've got wave number seven, but price above its oscillator and change line. So the signal here is neutral. That's from the larger indice. We've got one even larger than the New York Stock Exchange. That would be the Wilshire 5000. This is going to take, represent what the U.S. looks like. And as we look at it, it does have a valid Rosemont communicator top. But a close above, close above what, Steve? A close above. A close above, oh, let me do this, what the heck? A close above 46, 164 would negate that signal. Folks, stay tuned. The Power Trading Hour is up next with David White. After that, Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Fantastic Friday. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. The reality is that navigating financial